I am obsessed with leftovers. I love them. Um, I always cook more than we could possibly eat. And I love turning leftovers into something new. I think cooking for someone is, is the biggest gesture of love you can do. I care about cooking so much, I think about it all the time, but I honestly don't even care what we're eating. A meal is this powerful place where we can come together and just get to better know each other and use that as a way to make our lives more inclusive and more interesting. You know, food is a, it's a conduit to all that. They deliver. <laughs> You know, food is the way I have categorized all my memories. That's how I remember everything. That's what I love to do. It's enriched my life in so many ways. So I had this idea for a book about reinventing leftovers. And I thought I could call it, It's Me Again. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. But then I had this big issue because I was like, where is the food coming from in the first place? So it's now, this collection of all my favorite menus, and it's everything from holidays, things for, you know, a weeknight dinner, uh, like a weekend breakfast with friends, you know, things that sort of come in between, and all the recipes, there's so much food. <laughs> and so then there's all these things you can do with the leftovers. There's really exciting potential. You can make something completely new, and you've already done, like, most of the hard work. So I write my recipes before I test them, and I bring them into the kitchen. at home is what I do every day. I think keeping home kitchens a really accessible place is super important because cooking shouldn't be complicated um, and it shouldn't be intimidating. The kitchen is where I've always felt happiest and safest and best able to express myself. So if I can get other people to cook at home and make them feel like it's, you know, not a scary thing to do, it makes me so happy. It's so important to me that my work feels like it's coming from my kitchen to yours. If it can help you feel creative in your own kitchen and know that you don't need strict recipes to make everything, it's a place to kind of jump off and just to kind of be inspired to, to have fun because what's the point otherwise? Hi, my name is Julia Tertian. I'm a cookbook author and my newest book is called Now and Again.